This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Let's talk a little bit about deleting and changing records. Now, this is only if you're working inside of a table, although I don't necessarily recommend making changes in a table unless you really know what you're doing because you don't want to mess things up. So let me show you an example. My ID fields here. Someone deleted record three. It does, it does one, two, no three, four, five, so on and so forth. And here's all they did. They simply did a right click and delete. It said, really? Yes. Or they did this. They clicked on the record and they hit delete key on the keyboard and said yes. Now that record, you'll notice, let me do it one more time. If you click yes, you won't be able to undo this delete. That's a permanent delete. Now, not to worry. The data that I have here, this is just a table I created. I copied some data just to play with, so I'm not really changing my actual data inside of my actual database. But people can do that, and they can accidentally do that, or of course, you can intentionally do the deletion of rows. When you have a field such as the ID field that's an auto number field, the reason it's been established is because it's not a concern what the number is in the column, it's just that every record has a unique number assigned to the record. So it's not a big issue that we're skipping numbers, but what's the big issue is that we deleted an entire record out of our database, which might be a big problem. So that's one, th what, that's one thing about deleting, is that you, when you delete records and you have an auto number field, you can't get that auto number back. I can't, because look, you can't type. You can't go in and edit. I'm trying, but you cannot type in an auto number field. You can only accept what the computer assigns to you. Now, if you want to change information, so for instance, Francisco should have been Francisca, you simply click and you can go in and you can make those changes. So it's not at all difficult to go in and modify or change text. Just a couple of things, though, that you could do on accident. You just want to be aware of, but you have to really try hard. Copy and paste. If you notice, my mouse is the shape of an eye and my cursor is flashing at me there in Leanne. Well, if I want to copy Leanne, I can do it one of two ways. You can actually go into the cell. I'm hitting Control C on my keyboard and copying. And now I'm going to put it on top of Sven. I'm going to put it on top of Mortensen and I hit Paste. And you can see that I could actually paste it in if I wanted to. Well, I don't want to, but notice on the left side, that I have this little icon that tells me that I'm currently editing that record. As long as that icon is there, when I hit escape, it just erases the change. It's, it's as if you didn't even make the change. But what I really do need to change is somebody put Leanne in here and it was supposed to be Lee. So let me just backspace that off of there because I really, I really believe that person's last name was Lee. So I came in to make that correction. So you can see that you can intentionally copy and paste. You have to work really hard to accidentally copy and paste. I guess it could happen though. Let's talk a little bit about this email address field. On the email address field, this is not set up to be a hyperlink. So I can easily come in here and I can change it. Maybe it should have been anna.bdex at company A. Dot com. See how that was easy to modify, it was easy to change because that's a regular text field. But watch what happens. Let's go into the design view and let's switch the email address to a hyperlink field. We'll save that. We'll move back over here to datasheet view. Now that same email address is a hyperlink. And if I put my mouse on it and if I click right now, it takes me out to send mail to anna.bdex at companya.com. And so I can't click here now to modify this particular item. What I need to do is right click, select hyperlink, and then choose edit hyperlink. And then when I choose edit hyperlink, I can go in and here at the top, I can make changes to hyperlink. So just know that if your field is a hyperlink field, to edit or to change, you'll have to do a right click and choose the edit hyperlink. That way you can get in. Otherwise, when you have that hand, let me put it back. When you, anytime you have that hand, it's simply going to activate the hyperlink and you'll move forward. 
So be very, very cautious about that. All right, if you need to repeat information, when you're typing in data, when you're entering data and you need to repeat information, it's very handy to use the apostrophe. So let me show you an example. Let's put in a brand new record, right? So we go down here to the bottom and we're putting in a brand new record and I say control apostrophe, but I don't want all of that. I just want part of it. So instead of keeping all of it, see, I can use that control apostrophe and then change it in the process of typing in new records or in modifying something that you currently have. So there's some great ideas there for you on adding, changing, deleting information. A few things to be 100% aware of while you're inside of your table working because you don't want to accidentally delete things that you want, but you absolutely want to add the things that are important to you. And don't forget your escape key. As long as you have that little icon there, you can hit your escape key and your escape key will take you out. You see this time, it took me out of the correction that I made. If I hit escape a second time, it totally erases the entire entry that I was typing and now I can start from scratch. Let's take a pop quiz question. When a table's record is deleted, what keyboard keystroke will always work? A, the backspace key, B, the enter key, C, the delete key, D, none of the above as data may not be deleted. C, the delete key. Although sometimes the backspace key will do the erasing for you, the only one that will always work if deletion is possible is C, the delete key. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.